solve this equation. X is a real number. This is a high degree polynomial equation. How to solve this equation? We got f of x equal the left hand side of the given equation because f of 1 equals 1 to the power of 5 minus 2 or to the power of 5 plus 1 to the power of 4 minus 2 or to the power of 4 equals 0. So x equals 1 is a solution. Are there other solutions? If so, how to find them? One way might be to narrow down the range of x. It's 1 if x is greater than the fifth root of 2. Then x to the power of 5 minus 2 or to the power of 5 is greater than 0. x to the power of 4 minus 2 or to the power of 4 is also greater than 0. So f of x is greater than 0, which means the left hand side of the given equation is always greater than 0. If x is greater than the fifth root of 2, which means the given equation has no solutions. If x is greater than the fifth root of 2, is 2. If x is greater than 1, and it's less than or equal to the fifth root of 2. As x is less than or equal to the fifth root of 2, so x to the power of 5 is less than or equal to 2, so 2 minus x to the power of 5 is greater than or equal to 0, as x is greater than 1, so 2 minus x to the power of 5 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 4, as x is greater than 1, so 2 minus x to the power of 4 is less than 1, as 2 minus x to the power of 5 is greater than or equal to 0, and is less than 1, so 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5 must be less than 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 4 as 0 is less than or equal to 2 minus x to the power of 5 which is less than 2 minus x to the power of 4. So 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 4 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 4 or to the power of 4. So f of x equals minus 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4 minus 2 or to the power of 4 as 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 4 or to the power of 4. So we can now write is greater than 0. This means the left hand side of the given equation is always greater than 0. When x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to the fifth root of 2. So there are no solutions. 
when x is in the interval is three if x is less than one then x to the power of four minus two is greater than x to the power of five minus two now we consider x to the power of four minus two plus x to the power of five minus two. First three terms can be written as x minus one times x to the power of four plus two x cubed plus two x squared plus two x plus two. 2x squared can be written as x squared plus x squared. 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed plus x squared is a perfect square and can be written as x squared plus x or squared. X squared plus 2x plus 1 is also a perfect square and can be written as x plus 1 or squared. X squared plus x or squared and x plus 1 or squared are greater than or equal to 0. If x is less than 1, then x minus 1 is less than 0. So we can now write it's less than 0 from inequalities 1 and 2. We can now write modulus of x to the power of 4 minus 2 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 5. Now we raise both sides to the power of 4, and we can now write x to the power of 4 minus 2, or to the power of 4 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 5, or to the power of 4, as x is less than 1, so we can write it's less than 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5. So f of x equals minus 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4 minus 2 or to the power of 4 as x to the power of 4 minus 2 or to the power of 4 is less than 2 minus x to the power of 5 or to the power of 5. So by rearranging the inequality, we can now write is less than 0. This means the left-hand side of the given equation is always less than 0 when x is less than 1. So the given equation has no solutions when x is less than 1. Thus, x equals 1 is the only solution.